Hello Aquarius viewers. I need to look into your situation. Um, so it could be past, present, future energy. Could be a new person, an old person. Um, sometimes it's not related to love. Sometimes there's messages about shadow work that want to come through or psychic abilities or awakening. Um, karmic cycles, you know, money, career. It's just whatever the cards want to say. Please only take it if it resonates. It's either your energy group or it isn't. Um, don't get caught up on gender either. You know, I might say female, but if you know that it's for you and you're a male, then just, you know, take it as it resonates. There's no specific gender here. This applies to everybody. Got the Five of Swords. The Five of Pentacles. The High Priestess. Eight of Swords. So it's almost like you're coming out of a period of, like, poverty and struggle and, like, anxiety, like, like a kind of like maybe like a dark night of the soul or just like a period of like darkness um, or just like stress. Like I see five of swords. It's like someone that has to be, it's like you have to be defensive. You have to be, it's like you're stressed out, you know? Five of pentacles can be financial issues. It could also be like abandonment, anxiety, you know, loneliness, being left out in the cold. And it's almost like your intuition is at war with your mind. Does that make sense? It's like you have this high priestess energy and then you also have the Eight of Swords energy. So it's like the Eight of Swords traditionally is someone who, you know, there's a way out. There's there's these swords all around them, but there's an opening right in front of their face to, to love, to abundance, to happiness, to success. But they can't recognize it because they see all the swords around them and they feel trapped, but they don't realize that there's a clear opening for them to escape. So it's almost like this person's at war with their, their intuition and their mind. And this could also be your, your person. So take it as it resonates. Like This could be like a look into what your person is thinking and feeling and, and what's taking them so long to communicate. So, you know, you know, take it if it resonates. But yeah, the High Priestess and the Eight of Swords, it's like someone's intuition is kind of at war with their mind. It's like they're being led to take a leap of faith and step out of their comfort zone and just let things flow naturally. Sorry, give my camera a second. But with the Eight of Swords, it's almost like they're blocking themselves. Like someone's here, someone here is blocking themselves from taking that leap of faith and going on an adventure, going on their destined path, using their intuition, being the high priest or the high priestess. You know, letting things flow naturally, just stepping out of your comfort zone. It's like someone keeps going to step out of their comfort zone and be brave and step forward towards their destiny, towards a new life. But then they keep getting caught up in their head, you know, getting lost in their mind, in Eight of Swords energy, feeling trapped. Maybe this is someone that's like trying to fan manifest a new house and your spirit guides are on board with that and they're trying to help you manifest the new house, but you keep like trapping yourself and thinking like, well, I'll, I'll never have money for that or I can never do that or I'll, you know, it's never going to work, you know, and, and it's like you're kind of limiting yourself. You're limiting the way that this could come in. You know, it's like if you're trying to manifest a house, it's like it could be an inheritance. It could be um, lottery money. It could be a number of things. There's there's not just one. When you try to manifest someone, you something or someone, you need to know that like when you're manifesting something, First off, like try to word it as if you're manifesting it in the present moment so that you feel and manifest it as if it's as, as if it's actually in the present moment. Because if you say someday or you feel like it's coming soon, it's always just going to be a little bit out of reach. So you really want to try to feel it and visualize it in the present moment when you manifest something. Second thing I wanted to say is, is you have to also be open to the universe about how this comes about. Because I feel like maybe some of you are trying to manifest something like a house or a new job or a new love, but you're being kind of like set in your ways about how this comes about. You're like, okay, I want a new love, but where would I ever meet them? I only go to the gym. Like, am I going to meet them at the gym? It's like you're trying to control all the details instead of letting the universe just bring this to you naturally. Or it's like you're trying to manifest a new house, but you're like, okay, it has to be in this location. It has to be this budget. And I don't know how I'm going to do that. I don't have the money for it. And it's like, you know, you have to be open to the universe providing for you. It's like you've already let the universe know what you want, but you have to kind of let things flow. The devil. Yeah, someone's getting caught up in devil energy. And like I said, this could be someone that's thinking about you and missing you and like wanting to talk to you, but they get, keep getting lost in their head. You know, the devil card is all about 
old patterns, old outdated ways of thinking, you know, the things like mental, mental issues, the things that hold us back, the things that keep us tied down, addictions, you know, codependent behaviors. So like someone needs to get out of this eight of swords energy and go forward towards their destiny. I guess I'll take those three. Ten of Swords, Justice, the Emperor. Okay. Hmm. It's almost like someone's going to have to hit rock bottom for them to finally get it. It's almost like someone, and this could be your person, because I feel like for some of you, this could be a person that you're dealing with. It's like someone might have to have that breakthrough. They might have to hit rock bottom before they finally get it. It's almost like someone's being stuck with their own negative energy, their own negative thoughts, because the divine is trying to force them to change their thinking, change their perspective and step out of that. And that doesn't mean like positive vibes only or anything like that. Like I, I would never, ever, ever preach positive vibes only. That's not me. I'm just saying like, Someone here is being really pessimistic and really stuck in their head is what I'm saying. There's like a balance there. You know, I got similar energy for Libra. So I guess you air signs are kind of going through some shadow work and going through some transformations right now. It seems like that was like a common energy for air signs right now. Um, but it just feels like someone here, whether it's you or your person, someone here is kind of being forced to face their own inner demons. Someone is being forced to use their intuition. Someone's being forced to go inward here. You know, someone is being forced to get themselves out of the Eight of Swords energy. And again, it's not saying be positive all the time or anything like that. It's just saying that it's like someone's trying to manifest something, but you're like not allowing it. It's like you're trying to manifest it, but then you're controlling it. Like you're, you ask the divine for it. You, you pray for this to happen, for this love or this, this money or this career or this house or car or whatever it might be. But then, like, you pray for it, but then you, like, control everything. Like, you're, it's almost like you're blocking your spirit guides to an extent. Because it's like you ask them to bring you this, but then you're like, okay, but it, it could only be this kind of car. It could only be this this kind of house in this neighborhood. And, like, you're just, you're trying to control everything. And it's blocking the manifestations from coming in because you're just holding on too tightly. And you're in this, someone's in this devil energy. And if you're the one in this energy, it's like you're going to be forced to have this breakdown where you just can't take it anymore. It's like your own control issues are going to eat away at you. And it's not a bad thing necessarily because it's like it might be like the, the you know, the darkness before the sunrise is kind of energy where it's like maybe you just have to. You, you're, you're being forced to, to do shadow work and to make some major life changes and have this transformation so that you can have this justice. You know what I mean? For others, I, could, I feel like this could be your person where your person wants to send you a message and they want to communicate, but they keep getting stuck in devil energy. They keep getting stuck in their head. Like their intuition and their spirit guides are trying to push them towards you, but they keep getting lost in their head. And it could be both stories. Maybe both could apply to you, you know? it's You never know. But like maybe someone else is in devil energy here and they're going to eventually drive themselves crazy fighting against their spirit guides and their intuition. They're going to hit rock bottom. And then, you know, justice is going to come in and this person is going to transform and take on a braver, more assertive approach with this emperor energy. Uh, this could be someone that's been juggling different energies for a while. Heartbreak, three of swords. I'm just getting it that someone's control issues are blocking their manifestations. Like yours or your person. Someone's trying. This is an intuitive. Whatever this is, it's like you're intuitively going to be led to it. Like if it's a house, it's like intuitively you're going to be led to it. Like it's not going to happen the way you think it's going to happen. You know what I mean? It's like you might have this money coming in in a way that you didn't expect. Or this car might be like a gift from someone when you keep thinking that you're going to have to do this or this or this for it. It's like... It might not be what you expect, but you have to let the universe and your spirit guides do the work, you know, do their work. You got to let them, you got to give them permission. You got to give them the freedom to do this because it's almost like they're trying to work and they're trying to focus on this. And every five minutes you're like, are we there yet? Are we there yet? Are we there yet? Like, are you doing it? What do I have to do? Should I do this? Should I do this? It's like you're, you're, 
it's just too much. It's like, just, just relax a bit. <laughs> just, just relax just a little bit. It's, it is, it's not saying give up on your goals completely. It's just saying try to find a balance and just relax a little bit. Try to just let go of those control issues a little bit. You know what I mean? Like, you don't have to have everything figured out right this second. You know what I mean? Like, it's going to flow. But you got to start walking on that, you know, taking the step, the first step on that staircase. Even if you can't see the whole, it's like you're trying to see like a hundred steps ahead of you. Just, just focus on the first two steps of the staircase, you know, and the rest will light up naturally as you keep walking up the staircase. You just got to relax just a little bit and let go of the control issues and just take a more direct, but, but more subtle approach to this, you know, let your intuition guide you a little bit more, you know, stop, you know, out of the eight of swords energy because it's like i just see like narrow-mindedness on for i'm sorry to say it but i see someone being and like i said this could be your person i don't know if this is you or your person or both but i just see like narrow-mindedness with that eight of swords where it's like you're like okay i'm manifesting this but it has to be this way and it has to be this month that it's going to happen and it's going to look like this and i'm you know like this is this is this and it's like if you just open your mind you're going to realize that there's a hundred different ways that the divine could bring you what you're asking for you know what I mean? It might surprise you, but you got to open your mind and be in that energy, in that vibration of allowing the universe and your spirit guides to work for you and with you and, and be on board, be on the same page with your spirit guides, trust them a little bit more, communicate with them, be, you know, be more consistent with them, be assertive even, but it's like, like open your mind up and allow them to bring this to you. Allow them to to do their work. You know, you're trying to control everything and it's kind of creating these blocks. If someone could be juggling here, which caused a heartbreak. It could be a third party situation. This is for some. For some, if this isn't you, if this is your person, then I feel like, so if this is a person that you're dealing with, I feel like, yeah, there's going to be justice here. Ten of swords. Um... But it's going to happen like your spirit guides are going to take care of it. I feel like maybe this is this could be a situation you're trying to control with the person. And it's like they're going to keep juggling a third party until they reach rock bottom with that third party. Like someone someone you love might be in a relationship with someone that you don't like. Or like this could be a person that you love that shows someone else like a toxic third party over you. And the divine is kind of saying like, you know, they have to do this on their own. Um like, they're going to have to go through this. They have to learn these karmic lessons on their own. Someone has to... They're, they're, you can't force them to see it. They're not going to listen to you. They're not going to hear what you're saying. They're going to have to see it on their own. They're going to have to reach this rock bottom Ten of Swords. They're, this person's stubborn, so they're going to have to learn things the hard way with the Ten of Swords here. You know what I mean? When it, they finally hit rock bottom and have had as much as they can take, that's when justice comes in. You know, because they've been juggling. They might have hurt, broken someone's heart, either yours or their person's. But justice will come in, but they're going to have to learn this lesson the hard way. You can't learn this lesson for them. You can't do the work for them. Five of Wands. Angel de la Nude is, is about um, light, like a light after a period of darkness coming in. Strength. And as always, if this is your story and you want me to go more in depth into it and you know answer specific questions for you, just send me an email. My email is dragonenchantress at AOL.com. My email is right below in the description box, right below this video, so you can just copy and paste it and email me. Any donations are appreciated, even just a dollar really adds up quickly. My donation links are also below. Um, please like, share, subscribe, comment, you know, please share because maybe someone that you know needs to hear this message. Maybe this is for someone that you're close to. Strength, the hanged man, the page of pentacles. Yeah, it's like taking strength to just let things go because I feel like maybe this is like a period of silence that you've been in with this person. And so you're trying to control it. You're trying to like obsessively be like, when are they coming back? When are we doing this? What's happening with them? What are they feeling? Like you're, you're like holding on so tightly and it's like not allowing this to manifest in your life. It's almost like maybe you did like some reconciliation work for this person or something, but you're like every day you're like, what's going on with it? Did it work? Did the spell work? What's happening? Like, like you're like, you're just so you're holding onto it so tightly. And so the spell isn't even able to do its work because you're, you're stopping it. You're blocking it. You're controlling it. You know, if you let like the spirit guides and the spell work and these, these high vibrational energies just do their thing, it's going to be more powerful and more amazing than you even realize, but you got to let them do it. You got to stay out of your own way. 
you know, this could be like reconciliation work where it's like you got to relax and just let the let the spell do its work, you know, for those of you that are witches. But it's like it's taking strength to let go of this. You know what I mean? To just to just focus on this energy, to just let go and just let it happen naturally. Because some of you are not in contact with this person. So you want to like, you know, spy and figure out what they're doing at every moment. And it's like you got to just let it go and let it flow naturally. And just trust that the universe is either going to bring this person back or they're going to bring you someone even better. Like you just got to let things flow more naturally is what I'm getting here. Yeah, like I said, if you're dealing with someone, it's possible that they just, they need to learn their lessons the hard way. There's nothing you can do. You've done all you can do at this point. They're, they're going to be stubborn and they're going to have to learn and see this the hard way. You know, you might have warned them about someone that was toxic, like a third party and maybe like a family member or maybe like even a lover that they chose over you. But like they're going to have to, they're, they're going to see it through to the end. They're going to be stubborn and they're going to learn the hard way. But it's part of their karmic lessons. It's part of their path. So it's kind of necessary. Uh, we got the Hermit and we got the Eight of Cups. We got the Magician. The World. Yeah, let this just flow naturally, you know. Kind of step back, you know, because you are starting a new life. You are manifesting a new life. You just got to be willing to let these karmic cycles close out. Yeah, there's another card about closing karmic cycles out, moving forward. It's really beautiful energy. Like, your, your spirit guides want you to just relax, and they want you to understand that everything's going to happen as it's meant to happen. You can't control the t timing or the outcome. You know what I mean? Like, you're going to look back on this and understand why things had to happen the way they did. Like, it doesn't make sense right now. You feel lost and confused, but I feel like part of it is, you know, your spirit guides are pushing you to let go of control issues they're pushing you to let go of stagnant energy they're pushing you to let things flow naturally they're pushing you to um get out of the eight of swords on your own you know and sometimes you have to hit rock bottom and have some tower moments to be able to do that but it's like or this like i said this could be your person that's dealing with this it's like you wanted to learn the lessons for them or you wanted to help them through this but they're they're going to be stubborn and they're going to do it their way they're going to do it the hard way and you have to just let them don't get dragged down with them. Just stay in your power. Focus on yourself for now. And know that if it's meant to be, it's going to come back around. And if not, then, you know, someone better is going to come along for you. I know it's not easy, but but your spirit guides are just saying, like, for this situation, whatever it is, you've done all you can do. You know what I mean? Like, you got to let yourself rest and heal and relax now. It's like you're driving yourself crazy with this Eight of Swords energy. You know, you're driving yourself up a wall, holding on to this and trying to control and predict everything. you got to just let go and let it flow naturally. you got to just let things play out now the way that they're meant to play out. You already put that energy into the universe. You already did the spell or the ritual or told this person what you needed to say. You've already done all that. So it's time to step back and relax and rest and heal and focus on yourself and focus on things that are just fun for you. And let go of the control issues and just let destiny play out. Let your spirit guides handle this. Let them take over. They're trying to take over and you haven't been allowing them to. So let the spirit guides take over. Let the universe take over. Let things flow naturally. And you might be pleasantly surprised by what you find, by what happens. You know, just let everything play out and it's going to be more beautiful than you could ever imagine. But you really got to let things go now. You got to let it flow naturally now, okay? Um, anyway, I hope that makes sense. Like I said, if you want a private reading, just email me. Thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe.